Hi all folks, this is Max from joybionicroot.com um, So, uh, before I begin <laughs> review of this ROM, don't you hate those people that like, you're driving, right, and then you're driving this way, and then there's this guy who comes out from the parking lot or something, and then he, he comes out, and then he sees you, and then he kind of delays, and then last minute he decides to go, and then he just blocks your way, so you have to, you know, just, just uh, step on your brakes. And then this guy decides to go really slow, and then he says, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna like park here, so I'm I'm just gonna kind of slow down, look for my parking." And then he's trying to like park, you know, and then you have to like kind of drive by him. Anyway, don't be like one of those people that piss me off on the road. But <laughs> uh, we got the ROM of the Liberty ROM. I don't know what I'm talking about here, as you can see. But uh, this is the first. Um, AOSP ROM, AOSP stand for Android Open Source Project, which just basically means you get a plain vanilla feeling instead of um, this thing's been stripped of Motorola's um, all that. What is that called? Their UI, um, the blur. Um, so you get all this cool uh, vanilla stuff. Um, other than that, it also comes, one of the things I like about it, um, it comes with. It's supposed to come with DSP Manager. Um, I cannot find it for some reason. Um, uh, but this is uh, really cool. Let me show you some of the highlights of this ROM because it's a very good AOSP ROM. I personally like uh, Blurred UI. Don't ask me my. It's probably because I have so many phones. I have vanilla on my. Um, I have, you know, ICS already on my Nexus S, so I like enjoying different UIs, even if, you know, some, some of you might not like it, but you will like this one. Um, it is Android 2.3.4 kernel, is a kernel there, and there's, uh, if you go to settings, there's Liberty settings, um, oh, there's, there you go, there's the DSP manager. DSP Manager is really good if you like to listen to music on your headphones or ear earbuds or speakers, whatever, because you can tweak the uh, equalizer like really cool and you know make it louder, more bass, uh, more treble. Startup tweaks. Um, basically, startup tweaks you can. Oh, there we go. Allow. You can put uh, scripts to uh, when it begins, but. This one, Liberty Settings, allows you to clear cache on each settings and all this cool stuff. Zip, zip Align, SD Boost, um, that's kind of cool. Pull Down Text, Liberty Customizer. Uh, let's look at that. So you, you get a lot of cool, let me see. Um, you can, oh, you can change it back to Blur Alarm Clock. You have Blur Camera or AOSB Camera. Um, so it's not purely AOSP but it gives you a uh, option to actually um, you know customize different apps which is really cool um, other than that everything's working out of the box this is version it just came out um, if you enjoy AOSP experience of real Android um, you'll probably want to get this wrong uh, otherwise, I like the Blur 3D for if you like the Moto UI. Anyway, this is a great ROM. Check it out. I'll have updates in the future when the version is updated. Um, but right now, it's the version 1.0. Uh, you'll lose everything just so you know uh, when you wipe it. So make sure you make a backup with a titanium backup. And also back up your ROM just in case something goes wrong. But I was able to install this ROM easily. Um, just go into... Um, my, I have instructions on how to install ROMs and how to root your phone at Droid Root. No, DroidBionicRoot.com. I have it up here somewhere. I always put that watermark. So check it out. Um, great ROM. And uh, this is you know, great for those of you who want AOSP. Um, since there's no Cyanogen Mod 7.1 for this phone yet, actually there is a port, but it's kind of like, I don't think it's stable yet. Um, but this is a great alternative, or you know what, just just install it. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Oh, and let me know what you think of this ROM if you use it. Leave in the comments or in the droidbionicroot.com. 
Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. It does come with the web top hack and also mirroring. So you have two choices. And uh, you can do web top. And it will go to your screen here. And you get the nice web top. Um, let's see if I can load up one top real quick. And there you go. I can use as a mouse. Um, you know, go to Firefox. There we go. Let's type, um, Zero Max. Ah, whatever. Eh, so, it works. Uh, anyway, just, I wanted to tell you that it does work. So, see you later.